In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update DNS on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button, which will actually take you into this page which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan and it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain. By clicking at this domains option right here, and of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from. And from there, you can start and create your account with that way also. So for me, I'm just going to click at login, which will log in into my account directly because I already logged in into my account in this PC. And that is going to be my screen once I logged in into my account. So as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to update DNS. And if we want to do that, we'll simply have to click at this domain tabs from the left panel here, then click at my domains. Here you will find all the domains that you have in your account. For me, I have just one. And of course, if I want to update the DNS, I'll have to simply click at manage, which will take me to this page. From here, make sure to click at DNS so you can get into the DNS management. And as you can see here, you can update whatever you want. You can update the name server by clicking at edit. And of course, you can update any subdomain or any record as you can see here. Of course, you will even have the option to reset the zones to default as you can see if you want to reset the whole the subdomains or the whole records. As you can see, we have here the A record, CNM record, the MX or the mail exchanger, the service, the TXC, and even the 4A. Four, uh, the four and of course, if you want to update anything, you simply go and click at add record, or you can even delete or edit some of your recent record or, and here, that's how you actually update the DNS. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching and goodbye.